Okay, so we are on the topic of evaluating functions. And for this entire page, you are given that f of x is equal to the trinomial 4x to the second power minus 6x plus 7. That will not change for the entire page. Okay, so question number one says to find f of 4. f of 4 means for you to fill in the number 4 for all the x's that show up on the right hand side. So if you go across and you fill in the number 4 for each of the x's that show up, you would then be able to calc calculate an answer for the right hand side. 4 times 4 is 16, and 16 times the coefficient is 64. 6 times 4 is 24, and then there is that plus 7 at the end. And finally, 64 minus 24 is 40, plus 7 gives me 47 for an answer. In letter B, it says find f of negative 1, which means fill in a negative 1 for all the x's that appear on the right hand side. So it's 4 times negative 1 squared minus 6 times negative 1 plus 7. And your job is to evaluate the right hand side. So negative 1 times negative 1 is 1, but 1 times the coefficient is 4. Negative 6 times negative 1 is positive 6, and at the end you have a plus 7. So when you add 4 plus 6, you get 10, and 7 more would give you 17 for the answer. Part C. This time, I added something extra. I put a number in front of f of 2. That number 5 in front is the coefficient. So you can start off with the number five, but the rule is you're gonna fill in the number two for all the x's that appear on the right-hand side of f. So that's four times two to the second minus six times two plus seven. And then you proceed to simplify the right-hand side. So we do our parentheses first, 2 squared is 4, and 4 times the coefficient is 16. Negative 6 times 2 is negative 12, and then I have that plus 7 at the end. Once I get that far, 16 minus 12 is 4, and 4 plus 7 is 11. But your final step is just to multiply 5 times 11 to get an answer of 55. for part C. All right, we are up to part D. In part D, I had also put a coefficient in front, negative two F of negative five. So the coefficient in front, I leave that in front, but F of negative five means fill in a negative five for all the X's that appear on the right. So it's four times negative five quantity squared minus 6 times negative 5 plus 7. So I'm going to simplify this, but I'm going to do what's inside the parentheses first. So it's negative 2 times negative 5 times negative 5 is 25, but times 4 is 100. Negative 6 times negative 5 is positive 30. And then there's that extra 7 being added at the end. When you combine all the numbers inside the bracket, you clearly get 137. And when you multiply on your calculator, negative two times 137, you get negative 270.
four. And that takes care of part D. All right, part E is next and it's a little bit different. In part E, it asks you to evaluate f of 3n plus 2. So it's not a number that you can actually use your calculator to assist you. I would like you to plug in the binomial 3n plus 2 in for all the x's that appear on the right-hand side. So it's 4 parentheses 3n plus 2 squared minus 6 parentheses, 3n plus 2, and then there is that plus 7 at the very end. And at this point, even though you can't type it into the calculator, I do want you to do all the algebra and then combine like terms in the end. So at this point, I'll move it over a little bit. You might want to write down that binomial twice if that's what you need to do. However, after that, I'm going to automatically distribute here to get rid of those parentheses, negative 18n, negative 12, and obviously bring down the positive 7. Now I know I have to multiply what's on the left-hand side, but I'll do two things at once. 9n squared times 4 is 36n squared. 6n times 4 is 24n. 6n times 4 is 24n. And finally, 4 times 4 is 16. Everything else in the problem, I am just going to transfer down. I am done with the most amount of algebra. I just need to combine like terms. So there's only one end to the second term, so that goes first. However, I have 24 plus 24 is 48, and 48 minus 18 is 30. N, and then finally, I have 16 minus 12, which is 4, plus 7, which is 11. This is the way I would like you to write down your answer for letter E. Okay, I am up to letter F. So in letter F, I have F of 4 minus X squared. So I basically have to do the same thing as what I had done before. I would like you to plug in the binomial 4 minus X squared for all the x's that appear on the right hand side. So it's 4 times 4 minus x squared, quantity squared, minus 6 times 4 minus x squared, and then don't forget about that plus 7 at the very end. So it's your job to do all the algebra required for the right hand side and then combine like terms in the end. So. The first thing I think I'm going to do is write this part out twice. So it's 4 times. The 4 minus x squared gets written down twice. But after that, oops, let me write that down correctly. After that, I'm actually going to do the math work that's there. Distribute by a negative 6 to get negative 24, positive 6n squared, x squared, and then please don't forget about the plus 7 at the end. Now I still have to multiply on the left hand side, so I'm going to do that next. I know that 4 times 4 is 16, but when you multiply it by the 4 in front, you get 64. And then 4 times negative x squared is negative 4x squared, and multiply it by the 4 in front, that gives me negative 16x squared. Negative x squared times 4 is negative 4x squared, but multiplied by the 4 in front gives me another negative 16x squared. And finally, I get positive x to the 4th, but then I multiply it by the 4 in front, so it's positive 4x to the 4th. And everything else I just drag down to the very end. Okay, my last and final step, you will not be able to see the answer. So I will write down the answer in a different color 
and in a different spot. So I go for the x to the fourths and there's only one of them. So I start off with four x to the fourth. I have no x to the thirds, but I have negative 16 x to the second and another negative 16 x to the second. That gives me negative 32 x to the second, but then I have a positive six x to the second. That all together gives me negative 26 x to the second power. And then I have constants and I have to be careful to add them correctly. So I have 64 minus 24, which is 40, plus seven, which is 47. So unfortunately, I did not have enough space so that you can see it, but that is the final answer for letter F. Okay, so I am going to just erase the board because there is only one more question on that front side that actually needs to be done. And I don't wanna cram it in. And here we go. So this one says, figure out what f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h. And it clearly says that h is not equal to zero because it can't be, it's in the denominator. So the way we do this is we look at the top left f of x plus h means fill in the binomial x plus h in for all the x's on the right hand side. So it is four parentheses x plus h quantity squared minus six parentheses x plus h plus seven. This is the top left. Then it says subtract off the full f of x which is right here. But since it is a trinomial, you're going to put it in a set of parentheses so that you subtract off each of its pieces by doing the distributive property. That's the end of the numerator. And then it's all over the letter H. So if I can clean up that numerator, combine my terms, and then divide by the letter H, I will have the answer to this part. So. In the beginning, you may want to write down the x plus h twice. But the rest of the work I'm actually going to do right now. Negative 6x, negative 6h. Plus 7 in the middle. Negative 4x squared. Positive 6x. Negative 7. And yes, it is still all over the letter H, and I'm still not done with the algebra that I need to do. On the far left, X times X is X squared, but multiply it by the four. X times H, I like to put it in alphabetical order, it's HX, but then I multiply it by the number in front. H times X is HX, but then I multiply it by the number in front. And then h times h is h squared, but then I multiply it by the number in front. At that point, I'm just going to transfer the rest of the terms down. numerator, I'm going to definitely combine like terms. So when I look at that numerator, before I begin, you should notice that there's a negative 6x in the middle and a positive 6x at the end. There is a 4x squared in the beginning and a negative 4x squared at the end. There's a positive 7 and a negative 7, and all those terms cancel out. So in the end, when you're looking at the four terms that are left in the numerator, you will notice that each of them have an FH in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out an H out of the terms that are left. Take out the H, you're left with a 4X. Take out another H, you're left with a 4X. 
take out the H here, you're left with a positive 4H. And finally, take out the H here, you're left with a negative 6. And it's still over H. But when you look at that, the H in the numerator cancels with the H in the denominator. And basically, if I combine my terms, I have an answer. 4X and 4X is 8X plus 4H minus 6. And that is the answer to letter G.